What's up guys, how you doing? I have to drink a lot of water today because um, I was filming an earlier episode that I'm going to post actually next week and I filmed some of it in the coffee house because it was a bit of a thank you Peter McKinnon episode and um, I drank so much coffee that um, I actually felt bad and like my heart was just going <laughs> not a good idea. Anyway, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be talking about the DJI Ronin S firmware update. Um, and everything it brings for Sony users mainly. Um, so yeah, let's just roll the intro. Boom. So I was on Facebook yesterday and I happened to notice a post by Philip Bloom um, about the DJI Ronin S and the firmware update, which is called um, 1.8.0.70. And it adds Sony focus control, which is awesome and I'm extremely happy. Um, and it, the, the models it adds it for are the um, Sony a7 III and the Sony a7 R3. Um, I've tested it out. I've tried it on the 35mm 2.8. I've tried it on the kit lens, the 28 to 70. <laughs> Um, and I've tried it on the 85 1.5. Um, it works. You can pull focus, which is the whole point of it. Um, let me just read exactly what's been added. Um, added video recording, um, autofocus, and focus pull support for the Sony A7M3 and the A7R3 cameras with supported e mount lenses using the MCC C cable. Um, photo capture is not currently supported. Um, to use autofocus on the Sony cameras, you're going to have to press halfway down on the gimbal's control button. Um, fine, I tried it all out. Um, I'm going to show you a little um, few tests in a minute with um, Bob and Fred here. Um, It's it's not that great. Um, I know that Sony already has an extremely good autofocus system in video and photography, but um, I feel that it's not right there. You've got such a small wheel here, and it's it, it doesn't work for me. I feel like it's a very kind of um, jittery. It's like a step kind of focus. It's not smooth. Um, if you want to, it, it just doesn't work. I'm going to show you a few examples right now. Remember to put your lens into manual focus. So as you can see, I'm trying to do it really smoothly here, as smoothly as I possibly can. The wheel's really small, so it's quite difficult. But you can see that it's kind of like it's kind of focus. It's, <laughs> it's very kind of step-like, and I am really, really trying to do my best to keep it smooth. It's obviously never going to be as smooth as a human being focus puller, but um, it's it, it just doesn't just doesn't work like it's meant to. I mean, maybe somebody might notice, but I definitely do. So, when connecting your camera to the Ronin S, make sure that you turn the Ronin S on first. Connect the MCC C cable. Um, make sure that. Make sure you've already set up your camera, so you've turned the um, smartphone control off, you've turned USB setting to remote, um, your in-body stabilization will automatically turn off. Um, and then when you do turn on your Ronin S, um, turn on your camera. And everything should work fine. Um, though like I said, it's it's not for me, it's a little bit, um, it's doesn't seem professional enough. Um, Thank you, Philip Bloom, for bringing it to my attention. Um, I don't know, may maybe they might do another few updates which might make the actual focus a little bit smoother, but at the moment it's not what I'm looking for. Oh, that coffee. <clears throat> anyway, um, next week I'm in London, so I'll post the video that I did this morning, and I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> 